A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant move that underscores the escalating tensions in the Middle East, the United States has announced the deployment of a Terminal High Altitude Area Defense (THAAD) battery and troops to Israel. This decision, authorized by U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at the direction of President Joe Biden, comes as Iran has issued stern warnings to Washington regarding the presence of American military forces in Israel. Pentagon spokesman Major General Pat Ryder emphasized that this deployment is intended to bolster Israel's air defenses in light of recent missile attacks from Iran, particularly those that occurred in April and October. The U.S. commitment to Israel's defense is described as ironclad, with Ryder stating that the deployment aims to protect both Israeli citizens and American personnel in the region from further ballistic missile threats from Iran. The Iranian government, through Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi, has reacted to the news by cautioning the U.S. against its military involvement in Israel, highlighting the sensitive geopolitical landscape. Israel is reportedly preparing a military response to Iran's missile attacks, which included approximately 180 missiles fired into Israeli territory on October 1st. While the specific location of the Thad battery's origin has not been disclosed, it is known that the U.S. had previously deployed a THAAD battery to the Middle East along with additional Patriot battalions to enhance protection for U.S. forces in the region after the Hamas attack on October 7, 2023. The THAAD system, which was also sent to Israel for training purposes in 2019, consists of multiple components, including six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, and the necessary radar and radio equipment, operated by a team of 95 soldiers. This system is designed to engage targets at ranges between 150 to 200 kilometers, 93 to 124 miles, providing a broader defense capability compared to the Patriot missile system. As tensions rise, the international community watches closely, aware that the situation holds the potential for significant repercussions across the region. The strategic implications of this deployment reflect the U.S.'s ongoing commitment to its allies while navigating the complex dynamics of Middle Eastern politics. Amid these developments, the humanitarian situation in Gaza remains precarious, with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu considering measures to restrict humanitarian aid to northern Gaza in an effort to weaken Hamas militants. This plan, if executed, could exacerbate the suffering of countless Palestinians, raising ethical concerns about the consequences of military actions in densely populated areas. The backdrop of this military escalation is further complicated by the broader geopolitical context, including North Korea's threats of military action against South Korea and ongoing political turmoil in places like India and Canada. As these events unfold, the world is left to ponder the implications of military interventions and the potential for conflict resolution in a region fraught with long-standing tensions and hostilities. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.